One of the most common questions that I get asked on this channel is Sam, how exactly can I make daily sales from my e-com store? That's what we're gonna be talking about in today's video. Make sure you stick around to the end, there's gonna be so much value in it. Let's go. What's going on people? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Sam and what I do here is break down various different tips and tricks to help you guys make money online. But in today's video, what I'm gonna be doing is breaking down exactly how I'm able to get daily sales from my eBay store and just my e-commerce store in general. I'm gonna go through all of the different tactics that I've been using over the years that enable me to make sales every single day from all of my e-commerce brands. As always, I don't wanna waste any more time. I wanna get straight into it. So if you find any value in the video, don't forget to press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit the bell notification for more content just like this let's jump straight into the video so first and foremost when it comes to me building e-commerce stores i always like to get the sales to be daily i want sales coming in every single day because that's the whole point of having an online business you want to be able to capitalize on the fact that the internet is always open and your website is always open so of course you want to be able to get sales every single day if you've just started your e-commerce business right now your number one goal should be for sales to be coming in daily so the first thing that you need to make sure that you're doing is selling a product that you're going to be able to source on a continuous basis because what most people do when they first start their e-commerce store is that they go to thrift shops and they go to places where they're not necessarily going to be able to source that product the next month or the next two months or even the next year. For a lot of the products that I like to sell on my stores, I've been selling them for the past five, six, seven years and I still sell those same products today. And I believe that this is one of the best ways to build an e-commerce business by selling a product that you know that you're going to be able to buy from a supplier over and over again. Instead of you going to your local retail shop or going to a thrift shop or a charity shop, finding a product that you're only going to be able to buy one time or maybe two times you want to build your store on a solid foundation knowing that you're selling products that you're going to be able to find suppliers for those products over and over again so if we just have a quick look at this item right here which is a digital voice recorder this is one of the first products that i ever saw being sold on ebay many years ago probably about eight or 10 years ago now and the same voice recorder is still being sold on ebay today as we can see four has been sold in the last 24 hours and this ebay seller has been able to sell over 912 units from the first time that they listed this product and if we just jump back over to the search results there's so many other sellers that are selling the same voice recorder so as we can see if we just scroll down there's this one right here and there's also this seller right here as well that's selling the exact same digital voice recorder but just to remind you of what my initial point was which is that it's always good to sell an item that you're going to be able to source on a continuous basis so if we just jump over to alibaba.com and type in voice recorder and scroll down and as you guys can see there's a supplier that's based in china that's selling the exact same voice recorder that we just looked at on ebay for six dollars and fifty cents these are the type of items that i like to sell because i know that i'm going to be able to make daily sales from them because once I rank for them in the eBay search results, I'm gonna be able to continuously keep buying that same product over and over again for my supplier without any issues, rather than me trying to go to my local shop to find an item there that I'm only gonna be able to find maybe five or 10 units. I know that I'm gonna be able to rank for this product in the eBay search results, continuously keep selling it and continuously keep sourcing it for my supplier. So one of the next things that I do that enables me to make daily sales for my eBay store is by having multiple different SKUs. And what exactly is a SKU? It stands for stock keeping unit. Basically it's the amount of products that I sell. I like to sell multiple different products, multiple different SKUs. And for anyone out there that's confused and is wondering what's the difference between a SKU and a product, one product could have multiple different SKUs. So for example, if you was a phone shop and you were selling mobile phones, let's use the iPhone 11 Pro as an example. The iPhone 11 Pro will be the main product that you're selling, but the SKU might be the different colors that you have available. So for example, the white iPhone 11 Pro, the rose gold one, the black one. And in addition to that, if you're also selling different memories, so for example, you might be selling an iPhone 11 Pro with 256 gig, or you might be selling one with 64 gig. All of the different memories, all of the different colors will be different SKUs. And when I build my eBay stores or my e-commerce businesses in general, I like to make sure that I'm selling multiple different SKUs, multiple different products, because by doing that, I'm gonna be able to make daily sales. And the more sales that I'm able to make every single day, the more profit I'm gonna be able to make at the end of the month. Now, to be very honest with you, this is easier said than done, because if you're drop shipping, it's gonna be easy. You're gonna be able to just list the products on your eBay store. But if you're importing the products and paying for the products upfront, you're going to have to invest in all of these different SKUs and it did take me a couple years to build up my eBay business to the point where I had over a hundred different SKUs but it's something that you need to have in mind if you are looking to build a big e-commerce business you can't just sell one product two products three products and expect to make daily sales some people do that but in my own experience 
a lot of the products that I sell might not sell for three days or four days, but because I've got so many different products, I'm able to make sales every single day because one product might not sell, but the other one will. So it's not necessarily an easy thing to do. And it did take me a couple years for me to build up my inventory base. Of course, if you're drop shipping on eBay, it's gonna be a lot more easier because all you need to do is build up your selling limit and you're gonna be able to list as many products and as many SKUs as you want. But if you do plan on buying the products in bulk, it's something that you're going to need to work towards. You're gonna to need to reinvest back into your business. So I've learned that it's very important for you to build up your inventory list because the more products that you have available for people to buy, the more likely you're gonna be able to make daily sales. So now that you know that it's important for you to sell multiple different items in your store, you also need to be selling items that are related to one another. And the reason for this is because you wanna create a snowball effect so that when someone buys from your store, they go back, they visit your store and they see another product that they want. So for example, if I just use this item as an example, which is a bottle for babies, as you can see right here. Now this seller is obviously focused on selling different baby products. You could just tell by the name of their company, which is Hello Baby Direct. And they've currently got around 3,617 different products in their store right now. So if I just click on this link right here, majority of the products that they're currently selling are for babies or for young children. As we can see, they've got toys, they've got bottles. They've even got something that you can put on the back of your TV that stops the children from pulling the TV down. So I've never come across this item before, but if I was a parent and I did buy a bottle from this shop, and they sent the bottle and everything was perfect, the speed of delivery was perfect, the customer service was perfect, everything was perfect, I might go back onto their eBay store, see this item and then buy it. And that's the reason why you need to make sure that you're selling products that are related to one another so that when you now ship an order out to your customer, if they're happy with everything, they may go back onto your eBay store and see all of the other items that you're selling. And by doing it this way, you're gonna be able to create a snowball effect for customers to come back onto your eBay store and buy more items. Now moving on to something else that you should be doing if you wanna be able to make daily sales, so specifically when it comes to selling on your eBay store, I'm just gonna jump into one of my listings. I've clicked on revise and I just wanna show you a couple things. So as we can see, I'm currently selling this product as fixed price, which is buy it now. Now, when you're listing your products, you need to make sure that you use the buy it now option. You shouldn't be using auction when you're selling on eBay in 2022, in my opinion. Now, for anyone that's new to selling on eBay, you've got two ways of listing your product. You can either list it using buy it now or you can list it using the auction style feature. Now, just to break down these two different options, buy it now is simply where customers are gonna be able to send you an immediate payment. From the moment they see your listing, they're gonna be able to click buy it now and send you a payment straight away. And if you wanna make sure that you've listed your product in the right way, what you can do is revise one of your listings, go to selling details just like this, and then have a look at the format section and then make sure that it's on fixed price. If you ever wanna use the auction style listing, I believe that it's good for one-off items. So for example, if you're getting rid of stuff from around the house, then you can list your product using the auction style listing. But if you're following everything that I've said in this video, then it only makes sense for you to list your item using the fixed price buy it now option. Another thing that you need to make sure that you're doing is using the good till canceled feature. By doing it this way, you're gonna be able to build up the selling history. So if we look at that recorder that I showed you at the beginning of the video, we can see that they were able to sell 912. The reason why they've been able to build up this large selling history is because they've listed their item using the good to cancelled feature, which means that eBay is not going to end their listing after 30 days. And the reason why you want to build up your selling history is because when customers come across your listing and they see that you've sold such a large number of units, they're going to be more inclined to buy from you rather than someone else. So it only makes sense for you to use the good to cancelled feature so that you're able to build up that selling history which is ultimately going to help you make sales every single day. You need to always remember that when it comes to building an e-commerce store, it's all about trial and error. It's all about adding products, removing them, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't, and trying to adapt as you go along. And if you've got a real passion for learning, if you apply all the knowledge that you're acquiring every single day to your e-commerce store, before you know it, you're gonna have the e-commerce business of your dreams. If you wanna watch a video that I made recently where I broke down what you need to do when it comes to getting your first sale on eBay as a complete beginner, I'm gonna leave that video right there. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit the bell notification so that YouTube can let you know when a new video has been released. I'm releasing videos every single day so you don't want to miss those alerts. So hit the bell notification right now. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.